Hello everyone, welcome back. So, I hope the light is good and I hope you're able to see me. So, continuing the chapter or the topic of Primavera P6. So, in the previous video, we discussed about the Primavera P6 um, history and understanding that how Primavera P6 evolved throughout the years and how did we get to Primavera P6 that we are using right now. So we discussed about it in the previous lecture. Now from this video, it's going to be, I'm going to name it the first video of the tutorials related to Primavera P6. So, but the previous video is still available there. It's also, uh, you, somehow it is linked to this series. Now in today's lecture, the topic of today's lecture is just opening the Primavera P6. And when we open it, what kind of window do we see? And what does that window mean? So that's what we're going to be understanding in today's lecture, right? So slowly and steadily, we're going to move forward. And in the end, we're going to be just expert in Primavera P6, I hope, right? So let's open the Primavera P6. So you can see, uh, can you find the icon here? So it, it's here, right? Primavera P6, P6 Professional. Just by the name of P6 Professional, I hope you remember that the professional is uh, something, Primavera P6 Professional. Professional means that it is the desktop version so specifically the desktop version of Primavera p6 is na named as p6 professional the 19 means that it is uh, the version number so 19 and maybe then 20 21 22 and you can you can see the 19 here i hope you're able to see it uh, i'll try to zoom it if i can but you can see 19.12 so this is the number of the version here now point one two is actually related to month and 19 is I think related to year I'm not sure about it but maybe I, I think it's something related to that I'll confirm it maybe but you can confirm it as well but I think it's the year and 12 is the month right so throughout the years it have been uh, or, or we can check it we can just quickly check it let's let's confirm it so let me write primavera p6 version number now you know where you're going to be checking it you can check it in the official p6 website um or we can check it in this one plan academy i really like their um, website and their teaching uh, style and everything so you can see in the plan academy 20.12 so you can see december 2020 release date so all the credit goes to planacademy.com i have watched their youtube videos i have watched their tutorials and everything and i really like their website so thank you plan academy for providing us this information so you can see the version 20.12 release date december 2020 so this is the latest version i am having 19.12 so uh, i'm not having the updated one but I, I don't think there's going to be a lot of the change, but you can see it. that what is the change here, right? So 19 in the Premier P6 means the year and 12 means the month, right? So that's what we're using right now. You can have the updated one. Now coming to this side of the window that we are having now, the first time that I saw this window after installing this software, I was really confused at what is this, right? I was confused because whenever you click on a software and specifically related to engineering when they open so there's a blank page and you just start drawing some autocad uh, constructions or whatever right but here it's just like asking for a login name and password so do we have to make a certain kind of a id or something or what so that's a confusing thing but it's not that confusing to be honest to understand the login name and password you have to understand the databases now databases are some special um, data uh, saving data saving I would call it as data sav saving folders or data saving files of your work so all your work gets directly saved into the database that you have created in the first step here right so it's gonna be saved there now, the advantage of this is that you don't have to save the things you don't have to click on save 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 no you just do your work and even just go or your computer turns off or your you just shut down or your electricity is gone or your laptop just uh, blasted or whatever but your data is saved there right 
if you're having the hard disk. So that's the automatic save option. It, you don't have to save anything. So everything goes to a database, right? So the P, I, I think the Premier P6 professional uh, owners or the CEO or the company, uh, maybe they liked this setup, so they just created this database thing. So it's good, right? Now what you have to do is just click on the add and create your own database. Now I didn't explain about the installation of Premier P6 professional. Maybe I'll upload a lecture related to that in maybe some someday if I had to but you can download it there are there there are uh, you can go to the official website of Premier P6 um, it's Oracle uh, Corporation Premier P6 download you can just go to that website and from there you can download the latest version of Premier P6 right you can find it somewhere in the products maybe and you can go to P6 somewhere right we'll have to check it enterprise project planning or somewhere there I, I'll upload a lecture related to that because I have I don't remember that exactly that what was the process I think it you have to log in here we've account sign into cloud and after you log in you just then get to download this everything right he'll create cloud sign up okay you have to go to sign up here it's been a long time since I have downloaded it so I just don't remember yeah you have to add the territory you have to add the name email and they'll just just direct you towards the official website of cloud or oracle and then from there you can download right so it's not difficult to download it's a free version for desktop the paid versions for the computer that is the online version so after just having it when you download it when you install it you will be having the first thing to appear on your screen is this thing that will be creating a database so from this step the first one can be your name of your or database alias it's going to be the name of your database right you can just select any of them and the driver type is going to be the last one which is p6 pro standalone sqlite right the other ones are just um, other type of p6 databases so you don't have to go for them like i just told you that there is one version which is an online version of p6 and there your team can work together but in this one you're just having a desktop version so just go for the last one which is p6 pro standalone SQLite right just go for that next add a new standalone database connection you don't have an existing one so you just go for the new one next okay admin and personal name and everything so I would just suggest that just don't make these things too much complex for yourself just make it the login name admin the password should be admin as well admin I remember one day one person contacted me and he was like I forgot the name of uh, sorry I forgot the password of my database so I was like I, I tried to find a solution I tried to see if there's a forgot password or something but there's no forgot password or for whatever that is right so you you cannot recover your password I think so you'll have to maybe contact the p6 professional or the Oracle website and the problem is because this is the desktop version so I I don't know if they have the password saved with them if this was an online version maybe it was safe so I would say just don't try to make a complex uh, don't try to create a complex password just make it simple right admin admin and just log in but if you're really concerned and if you can remember so just we can just add a specific password your personal name your login the short name of the base, base currency you can change the currency anytime so you don't have to worry about the currency but I'll just keep it the same right next okay save it save it anywhere in your PC this is going to be the main file of your database so make it save somewhere where you remember right so I'll just save it somewhere I just go to the PC and then work and then work and then YouTube work and YouTube playlist p6 I'm sorry for too much folders so and here I'll save it and next and finish right so we create our database now login just go to admin and just write your password and connect and you are connected to your database and now it will log in and it will open the software okay this is the appropriate industry for your organization has not been selected in the admin preferences please contact your administrator so you can you can just okay it it doesn't matter so here we go we have opened the Premier p6 professional now in the next video we will discuss about this whole thing that what is this whole setup and what is this actually what are these uh, things and etc etc this step was just about the databases so i hope you understood about databases i hope you know about everything that we just discussed till this point right so databases are where your data where your uh, 
where your work is saved automatically. So you can see that there's no, maybe there's a export option, import option, but do you see any save option here? There's no save option, right? So you can, you don't have to save it. You just close it and it will just ask, are you sure? And you can, yes, I'm sure. And gone and it's saved in your, uh, it's saved. And you can now open the same database and you can just continue your work, right? So that was about the database of Premier P6 Professional. In the next video, we will open the software and continue the discussion. So thank you very much. Take care. We'll meet in the next video.